Hello everybody, I'm Scythe18 and welcome back to more Crusader Kings to the Rise of Sparta. Last episode we continued our Holy War. This episode we shall hopefully conclude our Holy War in a three-part episode, of course. <laughs> this episode is taking place in three parts. This, uh, not rather, this war is taking place in three pieces. The beginning was the declaration, the middle is the uh, continuation, and the end hopefully is the conclusion. I mean, I'm at 71%. I hope I win. Yeah, these are all mercenaries. That's why I sent them over there. I'm basically just selling prisoners in hopes of actually keeping uh, this war going with mercenaries. Oop, I got 74% over here. I'm winning that. That's good. He hates me more and more because I keep on uh, ransoming his people. I just have all his court in my prison. It's like I have going down the list. Right, who does he want? Uh, this one. You want to you buy him? Sure. <laughs> How about your other wife now? Or your sister? Or some relative of yours? I don't really know or care. You're a, a relative of his? Or in some way, shape, or form are generally associated with him? So, on the list you go. Time to assault. Oh, so close. That was not a, generally, not a smart thing to do, I know. Don't care too much. Alright, so this should be the last holding over here. 83. I'll go attack him. And also, I need a new uh, manager, Stros. He's not uh, great at it, so I'm not going to choose him. He's a commander, and he's also my magistrate. It's not also generally that great. Alright, you're going to go to here. Yeah, we're just going to assault that last little bit of morale down. Cool. 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 Perfect. <laughs> Alright. Let's also just uh, assault that down. Come on, that down. Wonderful. Let's go over here now. And I have 95%. And, uh... I have all of Sparta. And, uh, Sparta has all of Tripolitana, naturally. Let me uh, keep on selling him people. Oh, I can't. No more people to sell. <laughs> I think I actually can drop these guys now. I have no use for them. It's just uh, waiting for the War Sparta tick at this point. And uh, keeping them around meant more money that I don't want to spend. And also, potentially, I could create the Duchy of Tripolitana uh, after he... Oh well, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, of course, she's also going to go with Struggle a Spartan woman. She will go struggle and she will like it. She will know the struggle. Wow, if I succeed in this and the uh, Aquitaine and Aquitaine actually succeeds at theirs, the Agdunid Sultanate will be completely wiped out. And this whole region will be owned by three separate like Christian uh, countries. Specifically, one small chunk will be owned by the Byzantines, one small chunk by the Amalfi, um, the Amalfi Republic, and uh, Aquitaine will own one large chunk. Like, a bunch of Mauritania and, uh, and stuff, I think. Africa and Mauritania. Yeah. Africa and Tania. <laughs> Aquitaine has been holy warring for quite a while. Over there. Umayyads are pretty tough. 
That'd be one thing I would like to go into, just to start trying to take over Spain. Spartan Spain? Yes. Hey, I'm at 100%. Give it a second, though. I want to finish this holy war. This uh, siege, rather. Unless he um, proposes a, a surrender. Offers a surrender, rather. Then I'd be down for that, but he's not going to offer a surrender. <laughs> Yeah, they had, uh, the successfully raiding, yeah, that's an unfortunate, um, one. They have 1.7 morale, so this next tick is gonna make them fall. Great, wonderful, and let's, um, get you guys going to our new lands, offer peace, enforce demands, I own everything, of course, what'd they think, I was just gonna not own it? And let's uh, give away the cities and the churches, because all our wrong folder type, obviously. I still have eight out of seven holdings. I can create another title, the Duchy of Tripolitana. I shall. It does only take a hundred gold, but now I have two duchies. It's not my primary duchy. Obviously, I'm the Duchess of Sparta in Tripolitana. And as I said, I'm probably going to give away uh, Leptis Magna. Maybe to him. Yeah. Grant landed title. Leptis Magna. Actually, I don't really want to complicate things. I'm just going to find someone. You. Uh, damn it, again. Yeah. Magistros and Commander. And also, and a title, you are now the owner of Leptis Magna. Philippos of Leptis Magna. Why do you not like me as much? Female ruler, female heir, Tripolitana. That's why. Maybe not the smartest move, actually. Um. I could send him a gift. I'll award him an honorary title, though. But damn it, by all rights, I did just give you a fucking county. Which barely balances out the uh, negatives, apparently. <laughs> award him an honorary title, hell no. Yeah, small bonus. And he r was going to want to seat on the council anyways. These three will give me a... Oh, I could have kept it. Damn it. I could have kept it. I forgot that uh, being a double duke gives you the uh, bonus. And Gavelkind does give me a uh, plus one, so I mean, when I get rid of Gavelkind eventually, that will be a thing I'll have to deal with. But, right side, I now own a lot of land, and Aquitaine is trying to file in. So once they get, um, once I get there, I'll finally be able to drop my army, and my army will be uh, not costing me so damn much. Um, just go down here, Leptis Magna, hell no, you're also my commander. I can't have you being a commander, you're uh, on the council. I'm going to resign from command, all of you guys. Got nobody left to uh, do anything with. Philippos has an increased council power. Thing. Could revoke his damn title. Wish I could. <laughs> he doesn't even have even close to enough men. He has two men. I found a message surrounded uh, saying to meet uh, this bastard in a stream alone. 
It will never happen. No way. In hell. I am threatening, apparently. The Duchess of Sparta is very threatening to uh, other people. The Muslims are terrified of what Sparta shall do to them. The Spartans are coming. The Spartans are coming. And hell comes with them. Alright, um, you're gonna go s study tech. Constantinople. You are going to improve diplomatic rep uh, relations. Yeah, diplomatic relations in, uh, in Constantinople. He doesn't like me. I don't like him. I actually like him a lot less than he likes me. Because I don't really like that he has vice royalties. He's also a freaking tyrant. He's gay, he's cruel, he's drunk. I don't know if that's all coincidence. It's probably, probably all just coincidence that he's a drunk, he's cruel, and he's gay. A lot of gay people are nice. This one just happens to be violent. He's like the bull queer in jail. Gets drunk, knocks you down, and just starts going. Scram the Emperor, shut up. You have to. <sighs> Messed up. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, I just saw that. East Francia has Italy. Holy crap. King of Bavaria, Italy, and East Francia. Not even of Italy. He just doesn't... Italy doesn't exist anymore. No, it does. Italy is here. Like, this is uh, Pavia. He's at war. The King of Bavaria, and heir to East Francia. East Francia owns Italy. Holy crap, man. This is why the Carlings are just like... Like, in this start, this is the Carling start, man. They just own everything. They're all related. If every Carling died but one, that one Carling would be the ruler of the world. At least in this start. It... So, let's see. Over here in uh, the, in our new duchy, we do not have a lot of things. We're not going to have a lot of things until uh, October. When in October, though? Just October 27th. This is good, though. I mean, I did finally end the war. He's um, still fighting against King Louis the Bold in uh, Aquitaine. Duchess Stefania of Sparta. <laughs> He's doing well. I mean... Hey, she's pregnant. I'm heir to the county of Leptis Magna. Maybe it'll be a male this time. I do want, uh... This. I need to reign for ten years and have nobody with negative opinions of me. Plenty of people have negative opinion of me, but the main problem is, um... It's... I don't have a late feudal administration. I think uh, the reason that uh, the uh, Duchy of Crete reverted to primogenitor last time um, under his rule is because his primary title at the time was the Duchy of Ashia, which had primogenitor. So when he created it, it, it was basically primogenitor, but primogenitor with uh, the emperor as the as the guy in charge of it. So. Yeah, when he created it, it just reverted to primogenitor. So if I was the uh, Duke of Ashia, it would have been primogenitor when I created it. Then I could have made it my primary title and everything. Huh. So kind or stressed? Shy. Or negative stewardship? I'll try to get uh, kind. And I did. I did get kind. 
Gives me a nice diplomacy bonus. Intrigue um, malice, unfortunately. Well, one of our many prisoners is a. Uh, he's kind. He's a indulgent wastrel or something like that. Or he, he's not that good at his job, which under, is understandable because he's in jail. You know, I'll just release these people from prison because I have no possible use for them. If I was a Viking man, I would just have a great plot right now and sacrifice them all. Let me just get rid of all these people. Congratulations. You are of no value to anybody. You spent three years in jail. Now go out, be fruitful, multiply, and murder everybody. Rejected seduction attempt plus 10. Damn right. Not that you care, of course. You're not married to me. <laughs> right, right, now I can, uh... That's 700. Let, wow, I have 6,000 possible troops now. He has 200 troops possible there in the worst county here. That's, 6, 000, that's 600 troops. That's 700 troops. That is 400 troops. And over here... The um, the holy war over here is still going, s not really strong. It's just still going. I will say that. And that's the only thing they're involved in. They're just not shuttling the troops over here. Hmm. Meanwhile, looks like we're having a sure war over Messenia, which is that right there. So, trying to connect their lands. It's pretty respectable. So the Arapid um, Raiders. Arapids are from up here somewhere. Is Kazari still Jewish? Yeah, they are. Oh, that's uh, still a thing. Let me check the uh, landscape of everything. Catholic, Jewish, Orthodox. No, tr no typically like unusual things over here. Let's go into this, so... Looking around the Tolanids, managed to resolve their crisis. We took over that. Um, seems like uh, um, the Abyssinians are not totally screwed. Elodia is holding out, uh, is getting eaten actually slowly by uh, the Tolanids. The Abbasids are trying to spread in here. Looks like uh, someone broke off from the Abbasids. The Hashemids are still not eaten by the Abbasids. Safarids seem to have eaten pretty much everything else in this area. Diastan and Samanids are still separate. There's um, four large kingdoms in India still. The Kyrgyz are still a thing. It's good, but they uh, clearly someone ate uh, this place right here. The formerly um, Mongolian lands, I think, in the start. I think in the start. It could be the later start that that's Mongolian. But, it's all seemingly uh, pretty decent. Norway, actually, is a big kingdom in uh, Scandinavia. It even has, basically, Wessex. It's pretty cool, actually. So, Ragnar, the son of Halfdan Whitechurch, actually, uh, seems to have... Uh, taken over uh, he at one point had Jorvik basically it looks like Siegfried also son of Halfdan White Shirt he has Jorvik my new heir is Eugenius or did I say Eugenius I meant something not that Christophorus would give us uh, that, but it's a county, not a duchy. So what should we name our heir? Our new heir? 
clearly it should be something cool. Not Eugenios. I don't know. I don't really know any particular Spartan names other than like Leonidas from 300. They kind of ended violently. Probably crazy. But I'm pretty sure that one ended pretty not good. Melidius, hell no. It doesn't even sound like a cool name. Count Christophorus. Just dead. Oh, and that's our timer. So let's name this character and get the hell out of here, eh? Um, fuck it. I'm pretty sure that's the wrong spelling. Let me just look this up really quickly. We need someone to uh, take over the world, right? Eh, sorry, one second. And Elio and I D A S. Yep, that's it. Perfect. Oh, but he's ill. That sucks. Leonidas Aegead. The first, appropriately. And that is also the end of the episode, as I said. But first, let us also get him in the struggle. Not pride, but struggle. You need to struggle to be a good Spartan warrior, of course. So, let's get going. Alright, um, I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for watching, and let me know uh, what you think I did right, what you think I did wrong, how, how I could have done much better, <laughs> everything like that, uh, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.